And please join the Google Sheet. So the whole point of today's non-technical session uh, is related to our technical, uh, our regular technical challenges. We have heard that people find it difficult to figure out uh, how to ask good questions. And so today we are going to work together on preparing uh, the questions that you're going to ask in today's Q&A session that's going to start in half an hour. So um, Yatiana has shared the Q&A session or the question formulation technique. Um, and here is the one slide which I'm presenting. And we're going to use this together and we're going to, in the next 30 minutes, come up with a list of at least five and hopefully 10 really good questions that we want to ask um, during the Q&A session. Okay. So the technique is super simple, uh, super straightforward. And I, by no means are we saying that this is the only right technique that one can use, but it's nevertheless a technique that we want to we want to use. Uh, so we're going to start with a question focus, and the question focus here is pretty clear. Um, you have the week eleven challenge. Is there any other information that you need to be able to do the week eleven challenge really well? So that's the question focus. Step two is produce our questions, and we're going to follow the rules. And the rules are a to ask as many questions as you can. And we're going to be asking questions on the Google Sheet that I have shared. I'm going to share it again in the chat box for those of you who are joining a little bit late. But I want everyone to click over uh, and to have that open so that you're ready to ask as many questions as you can. Do not stop to discuss, judge, or answer. And record it exactly as you're stated. And we're not, we don't want to make statements, but we want to make questions. So basically, it's a brainstorming exercise. So we're going to uh, have 10 minutes, and my goal is that everyone asks uh, three to five questions. So go go in the sheet, make sure you have enough space. You can go down over at the bottom, and you just need to fill in the two green areas. Um, so the original question and posed by. So just type up your question. Don't worry too much about if it's perfectly formatted. It shouldn't be a statement, but any question, there's no uh, silly question. Questions are going to be numbered, so don't worry about the numbering. We'll take care of that. After 10 minutes, we're going to start improving our questions. And our goal here is that we want to get ideally open-ended questions. So closed-ended questions are things where you can say yes, no, or just one-word answers. You don't tend to get a lot of information from closed-ended questions. We want open-ended questions. And so our goal is um, to improve our questions, and then we're going to strategize. And as a group, I would like us to come up with five or ideally 10 good questions that we can use as guiding us through um, this Q&A session that you're going to have with the Bell in 30 minutes. And so this for us is an example of asking good questions. And I hope that we'll see the difference from previous weeks, where in many cases, I think not always, uh, we hadn't always asked very uh, solid questions. So the reflection we're going to skip because you guys have a 30 minute session afterwards. So, Cool, people have already started. So let's uh, let's head over to the Google Sheet. And for the next five minutes, let us ask uh, as many questions as we can in the, we're using the green, the original question column. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's go. We got five minutes, as many questions as you can. So Behigu, you're, so, uh, questions for who? So this is the the question focus is you're going to be asking Yababel as the instructor questions. And the point is you want to understand as much as you can about the challenge to be able to do it well. So you are Behugu, you're asking Yababel, and the goal is to get as much information as you can so that you can do the challenge very well. Kairat, it's a good, there's no, what do we say? Ask as many questions as you can. Ask this is a typical thing that you will face, and your non-technical challenge is something similar, where you're faced with you have a business need, and then it's over to you to ask good questions. So um, I can't tell you more than that. You should. This is practice. You need to ask good questions, and you can, if you want, you can have a look and see what other people are asking, and that should give you some ideas. So let's keep typing. We're, our, my goal is we should have at least 100 questions. Don't worry if somebody else is writing a similar question. Just write. Go find a section in the Google Sheet and just write, write, write. So
So we're, we're up to about 20 questions so far. We have three minutes left. I'm going to keep renumbering. Don't worry about the numbering. I'll take care of that. We'll worry about the formatting afterwards. The point is everybody should be in the Google Sheet. If you're not, I'm going to post the link again so that everyone has the sheet. Um, <clears throat> it's totally open. We're just going to produce our questions. And the rules, again, are ask as many as you can. Don't stop. Don't discuss. Don't judge. And make sure it's a question and not a statement. So that's our that's what we're doing. So Kate and Saba, you just joined. Uh, sorry, I used the, I sent the wrong link. I want you to go over here and start typing up your questions. Ask as many questions as you can. We're on step two. Producing questions, ask as many questions as you can. Don't think about it, pure brainstorming. I want 100 questions at least. But I'm not seeing a huge number of questions, and not a lot of people are typing. <clears throat> Don't think too much about it, just type. And don't worry if somebody else has already asked a question. And the, the whole post by, it's not about, uh, we're not going to give extra credit for asking good questions at this point. We are just trying to get, um, we're just trying to go through the exercise together. And if anyone has any questions, you can um, type it in the chat box. But we're nowhere close to 100 questions. So we have 30 people on this call. Every single person must be able to ask at least three questions. And we should be filling, filling in only the green section. So the question and put your name beside it so we can go back and understand more. And there's no such thing as a dumb question. You, the whole point here is just brainstorm. Write down as many as you can. It should be 15, 20 seconds. Write it down. Write the next one. Write it down. Write the next one. If you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, type your question. Okay, Binyam, uh, so here is the, here's the cheat. 
I want you to go over to the sheet and fill in at least three questions. Just a, a, any question about the week 11 challenge. So the question focus is what will you ask Yevabel to help you do the week 11 challenge very well and uh, use this Google Sheet. And I want everyone to ask at least three questions. And my goal is to get to um, at least 100 questions. And then we're going to improve them afterwards. Don't worry about the numbering, guys. I'll take care of the numbering. But let's just keep going down that list. Don't worry about duplications. Don't worry about good questions. Just pure brainstorming. We'll take one more minute. It's going through and writing um, uh, ended versus closed uh, ended. Uh, da -da. and um, labeling them as open and extended, just a first estimation. Quickly, and then once I finish this, we're going to wrap up and um, start prioritizing questions. Um, Um, I'm here. Okay, did I catch up? Super. Um, okay, so. So let's let's hear from a couple of people on um, the process. Well, let's actually. So I've, I've, let's not do that. 
Um, I've gone through and closed, gone through closed-ended and open-ended questions. Um, so the next step is for us to think about, and this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky to do it live, but we're going to um, prioritize our questions, and I want us to come up with a list of key questions that um, there's, I'm sure there's lots and lots of duplications, but how how can we do this? Um, I'm actually going to share this tab right here. So are there any questions that we think are super useful? Um, maybe what we can do here is, let me actually just clean this up. So I'm going to try and, um, so let's stop writing new questions on so we can clean this up. And um, let's, let's do the following, guys. Let's just go ahead. Let's stop writing any new questions, please because we've run out of time. <clears throat> but let us, uh, using column, using this column here that I'm now highlighting in yellow, if there are any questions that any of you feel are really good questions, let's highlight them. Let's, let's write develop. So this, if anyone feels that this is a good question, just write develop in that uh, row. And let's everyone go through it right now and just highlight questions. Let's not change anyone else's highlighting. But uh, if there are any questions that we think are useful, and then we'll focus on improving the questions that we think um, come with develop. So just go through, look at all the questions, have a quick read, and let's mark the ones that we think are good questions that we want to ask Yevabel, that they will be helpful, um, that they will be helpful for us to understand the week 11 challenge. Let's mark them with develop and then we'll improve them, and then we'll prioritize the ones that we think are most important. And our goal is to come up with uh, five to 10 questions that we're ready to ask at the end. So I want you guys to go through this process. I'm not going to input here. So how many do we have? Are people reading? Let's see if we have any. Um, I'm sure we have duplicates. So DBT and Docker is one question that's coming up. Um, what does Red Ash do? If anyone has wants to talk, they can just unmute and talk because I'm not over there. I'm here on the question asking side. And so ideally, folks, uh, try not to mark develop on your own questions. Pick someone else's. Read through other the questions that other people are asking. So how many do we have? Good, so we have... Um, Yeah, any last ones that we want to develop? No? Okay, so let's let's stop now.
And I'm going to present this tab. Okay, so let's stop. Let's stop working on these and let's just look through the ones that we think we want to develop. So we have, how many do we have? 26 questions that we think that we want to develop. Um, so we're not going to improve them yet. I want to go through and prioritize them. I'm just going to read them out quickly. Um, let's remove duplicates first. Uh, so implement dbt and Docker, less power, dbt with Docker. Uh, I'm sure there's ones that we can bring together. How can explode pipeline, database, data sets. Where does Red Ash come in? What is the main goal? Are we going to use Spark? Dabs. What does Red Ash do? That's a duplicate. Okay, so I'm going to remove this because this one is a duplicate. I'm just going to remove the develop here. So we get down how to use Red Ash. This is a duplicate. What sort of, I'm going to remove this. This is a duplicate. What's the end result supposed to be? How are we building in a week? Fine. How do we set up the DWH? Uh, how can we implement this without Docker? Uh, fine. I think the answer there is going to be you need to just use Docker, but um, that one is a duplicate here. If you have a Docker issue. Uh, so we're down to now. So our goal is to get to five to 10 questions. And we are now at 23. Um, he asks this question about Red Ash. What is the main goal in the project? Full pipeline of the project. Let's reduce this. Uh, how many tables should it does it have? Somehow related. How can we use TPT Docker? That's a related question. Fine. We're going to set up a data house. I'm not sure this is fully authorized. Full of tasks. Um, and transformation. Oh, uh, we're now down to how many questions here? We're down to 18 questions. So are there some that we really want to work on that we think are really, um, really important? So if, if the whole group looks here, which are the five to 10 questions that we think would be really useful? So somebody just put up your hand and just give me question numbers and I'll I'll take a note. Are there some questions here that we think are really, really important? Or that other people would like to would like to hear more about? Ethani? Ethani, are you there? Correct. Can you hear me? Okay. Arad, do you want to go? Um, yes. Um, question 56 by Boris. 56, OK. So Yes. Yeah. Somebody else? Um, Let me just, just call them out, guys, because I, I'm trying to take notes at the same time. So, all right, you can keep going. Otherwise, just you can call them out. You don't have to raise your hands. Call them out. 38. Others? Uh, question number 10. 
I see two people for 10. Oh. 17. Chris? 42. 42, yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. I think also fourteen is important. Fourteen. We have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven questions. Good. We're in our we we are in our range. So let's 69. work through sixty-nine. Let's stop there. Let's work through these questions now. Let us, um, let's improve these. I want people to help me improve each of these questions one by one. Let me just uh, take these out. And we're, we're very much rushing this process, I recognize that. But I hope that we can see that we're already, I hope this question and answer session that you're going to have in a few minutes will be improved having gone through this process. So the original question was, how many data sets from the link provided are we using? Is there a way for us to improve this question? Does somebody want to propose an improved version of this question? Because that's a closed-ended question. The answer could be one, two, or three. Is there a way to open up that question? Are there some questions that we have? Maybe there's your the person, so when you're going to ask your customer, Yebabel, in this case, this question, maybe there's a way to frame that question in a more open-ended way. Uh, for question 10, we can say, are we going to be using all of the data sets from the link provided? Okay. Anyone else want to propose a different uh, improved? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Which data sets do we need uh, to use for that are provided? Is there a, so I'm just going to propose another answer is maybe if you ask about prioritization, if we don't ask so many yes, no questions, but sometimes there are priorities, you want to start somewhere and then you may have other ones that are advantageous to add in if time permits. So do we want to frame this as a prioritization question? Which data sets are first priority to include? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, next one. What is the main goal in this project? Is there that's an open-ended question? Is there a um, way to improve this question? No. Um, my suggestion would be what are we expected to have built at the end of this project? Else? Um, what would a successful implementation of this project look like? What else? What what are the deliverables of this project? What else? Uh, three. I think what would a successful implementation of this project look like? Feels like the most. It's getting the most information out of it because the expectation is the first one is fine and the second one is the third one is fine but i feel like the second one is the most open ended question and if you ask that you are getting information out of the, out of your client so i would propose we use that one so where do we use dbt macros is there a way for us to improve that question
ich dann wieder das kurz. So unfortunately, I'm, I can't see who's put their hand up. So just please go ahead, because I'm typing in the other window. So if you put your hand up, you can just go ahead. You guys can self-organize. How do we use dbt macros in this project? What's the question again, Elias? How do we use dbt macros in this project? Uh, yeah, and someone else? Someone else? Um, At what stage do we use DBT? Ian, you had a question? What is the significance of DBT macros in the implementation of this project? Not exactly sure which one uh, to use here. So I'm just going to leave these unbolded. Um, so the question, next one, how are we going to set up a data warehouse? How can we improve that question? So let's unmute and just call it out. How do we set up a data warehouse locally? What else? Locally on our computer. Yeah. What are the, the tools that we need to use to build the uh, data warehouse? Somebody else? Is a data warehouse in this case a normal database? What else? What kind of database do we use to build data warehouse? Here, what what it what the expectations of the data warehouse are, and where the priorities are. So we're talking about the data warehouse here seems to be sort of a yes no format. Do we know? I guess we want to get some idea of what is the what are the characteristics of the data warehouse. Not only how are you going to do it, but what um, what are the expectations in terms of specifications or performance. Whoever just put their hand up, please go ahead and speak. Okay, thank you. I suggest that uh, how do we integrate a flow with a spark in the scale? So we're right now we're uh, improving questions. So is, I don't know if that's related to this question. Abraham, is that related to this question? Okay. Worked. Yeah, so we're just working on improving these existing questions. Yeah, for, for question uh, 38. We're not, we're not there yet. So when we get there, then we'll... Uh... Okay, so what, what's your improved question? Sorry. Abra no, it's fine. Abraham, what's your improved question here? Uh, yeah, it's not full. For 38? 
Okay, how do we integrate airflow with Spark in the SQL? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. As we speak, any other ways to improve this question? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. I, t I added your notes. Anyone else want to improve question 38? <clears throat> Um, what does the pipeline for this project look, look like? What else? No. Anyone want to ask a question about where where to start, which components should we start with, or which components are the hardest to implement? What are some of the essential components of the architecture? Does anyone want to ask why uh, these components have been suggested and not other components? Because surely there's competitive, there are competitors. Or maybe this is a typical stack. Or we can also stick with the original question. So I'm just actually going to stick with the original question. And let's move on to the next one, just for the sake of time. So I'm not stealing too much time. OK, next question. Uh, what sort of transformation are we supposed to do to the data? Any improvements? I think it's OK. OK. So one one feedback I have is it's a very it's a very specific question. What sort of transformation are we supposed to do, the, do to the data for what? So there's many different types of transformations that we can do to the data. So can we open up that question in some way? What type of transformation would be useful to start with, or what transfer what transformation is essential, and what would be nice to have? I think these sort of closed must be done questions we can always work on um, opening them up. What kind of transformation are, are available with this data set? Are possible? Yeah. Yeah. What are the main transformation we should be doing with DBT? Are the main we should be doing with dbt on this data set uh, two last ones and then we're done uh, normally data uh, normally data warehouses are, are built up in three to 12 months how are we building it in a week okay how can we improve that question Any improvements? Is it possible to build data warehouses in a week? Is it possible to build data warehouses in a week? OK. Any improvements? So that's still a closed-ended question, right? That's still a yes. Well, this is even more closed-ended. This is yes or no. 
Um, if you've put your hand up, please just speak because I'm on a different tab. Yeah, I think that that was a closed question. How even we can say like, how can we build a data a warehouse in a week instead of building? Is it possible to build a, a warehouse in a week? Data warehouse. Um. So let's let's think about this for a moment. You've been given a task by your manager, and if you go to your manager and say, "Look, my question is, can this even be done?" Um, I think a better way to ask the question is, "We only have a week, and these are some of the challenges that I see. What's most important so that we can decide together how do we get this done in a week?" What are the best practices we should follow to build data warehouses in a week? A week? Okay, so the emphasis there becomes more on the um, best practices for data warehousing. Is there a way that we can take that and move in the direction of best practices um, for a quick implementation, but something that can be improved later on? Is that the direction of the question? Yeah, uh, like optimization, uh, doing it in a short period. Optimization. Okay. So, so ask. So improve the question for me then. Take take us in that direction. What are the main deliverables for this project? Kinda. The data warehouse or in general, Elias. In general. So that one we already have. Okay. We have that one. It's question number 14. I'm going to suggest where would you suggest um, our essential aspects? Um, no. Where would you, what are the key aspects of the data warehouse that we must uh, focus on implementation of so that we can have a variation? Somebody give me a hand here. It's a bit of a what are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out, so I guess the first question was saying, can this be done? And well, or maybe Boris was asking, how do you actually go from a 12 month process to a one week long process? So maybe we can actually just uh, stick with that. Uh, what processes and or tools should we use to accelerate the process of warehouse building from three to twelve months to the other improvements that we can make? No? Okay. So let's continue. And the last question, um, do we set up the DW data warehouse on our machine if no access to the cloud? A suggestion improvement there. Any improvements there? I think it's somewhat similar to the upper question. Yeah, somewhere I was locally. Uh, the upper question, data warehouses. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can drop this if it's a if it's a duplicate. Nineteen, I think number nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question okay. number nineteen. Fine. Let's drop this one.
So are there any others that uh, I think the tutorial is going to start in 10 minutes or in 13 minutes, so at noon UTC. So I'm just opening this up. Are there any other questions that we think we want to cover? So I'm going to maybe everyone take a couple of minutes and review and um, how do we do this? Put a you can type in the either chat box or you can start improving other questions that, let's do that. Let's improve, if anyone wants to improve some questions that we think are important but haven't been addressed, then uh, just start working on improving them. Because the goal is with this set of questions, we are going to our, um, our manager and this set of questions that we've gone through this process and should get us a lot more information than we would have otherwise gotten. Now, maybe some of you see some questions that other people have asked and you in, are inspired to ask something new. So let's take five minutes and either improve other people's questions or we can even come up with one or two new questions at the bottom. It's going to take two minutes and either improve questions that we haven't improved on that people think are important or ask a new question. Maybe you're inspired by some of the questions that other people have asked. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Are the questions shared on the chat? No, I didn't seem to find it. I'm going to post a link. Okay, so let's take one last minute and then let's wrap up the, the question side of the process. And then I would like to, I'm going to use up the rest of the time just to reflect a little bit on this question, the question process. Okay, so, um, so let's all come back and I would just like a couple of reflections on this process. Um, the goal here is that um, many trainees had, had asked for a way of, had asked how do we ask good questions. 
And so this is one technique, and we're going to be following the same technique um, for the non-technical this week. But if we look at the questions that we've now come up with, and I'm going to read them out, I would like your reflections on to what extent are these questions going to help us reach our goal, which is asking our, our manager, our client, Yabubel in this case, for more information to help us get a better outcome. So the questions we've agreed on, um, which data sets are highest priority to include? What would a successful implementation of this project look like? How do we use DBT macros in this project? What are the must-have characteristics expected of the data warehouse that we would have set up locally? What is the architecture slash how do all the components fit together? What are the main transformations we should be doing with DBT on this data set? What processes or tools should we use to accelerate the process of data warehouse building from the typical three to 12 months into one week? So how do we, um, maybe I can just get some people to reflect. How are those questions and how is this process? Yeah, Zalem. Okay. Uh, I think the process was good. We managed to bring uh, common ideas into questions that can get us uh, a lot of answers. So I think the process was good. We managed to uh, come up with questions that extract a lot of information. Do you, do you get a sense of the difference between, um, or the, the value in working through a good question or in asking a very well-structured question, an open-ended question, a question which it's not, it's not simple, but it's somehow there are a couple of layers to it? Yeah, because we have improved significantly from the first list of uh, 70 questions, I think. Mm. Uh, they have improved. OK, somebody else? So I don't know if Yabubel is here. Whenever he's here, I can just hand over to him. Okay, now I'm, I'm here, but anytime. Yep. Okay. So let's, let's get a couple of more reflections, guys. I'd just like to, so this is important, right? If you don't ask good questions, then it's difficult uh, to get as, to be as effective as you could be in the world of work. So a couple of more reflections. Let's get two more. Behigu? Yeah, I can see questions being shortened and uh, like getting the main question out of it instead of being too generic and be making it too closed. That's a good part I can see. But what is a good question? Like, for instance, um, we, we have sorted 10 questions, let's say, and we've agreed those 10 questions are good questions, but I had uh, one question perhaps the majority of us here dropped because maybe for most of them it's not that good, but it's still very good or significantly important for me. So we don't have um, a metrics here, and I want you to say something about it. Yeah, so th the process is definitely not perfect, right? We tried to take 30 people in half an hour to ask a whole number of questions. So <clears throat> don't take my prioritization as the right one. Um, there's a, This is a process, and my prioritization is it's whatever. It could be good, could be bad. It's probably not the right one. The, po the whole purpose is to give you a framework within which to operate, but it doesn't mean that your question is not useful. I would encourage you to ask your question, but I hope that after this process, you might think for a moment and say, can I ask that same question I had, which is important to me, and make sure that it's open-ended and it's framed in a way that I get as much information as possible. So I think that's an important point. My prioritization is not relevant. Um, the group's prioritization could be relevant, but 30 people online in 30 minutes is too quick. But my recommendation to you, Behigu, would be to still ask your question, but take a moment, uh, you wrote, now that we have the question written down, take a moment to work on that question and make sure that it's open-ended and it's framed in the best possible way. Yeah, one more person, otherwise we'll go to back to Zalalem. 
Let's hear from one more person and then we'll hear from Zola. Can we get one of the ladies, please? Toyin, you were asking, you were saying a lot, so I'd like to hear from you. Toyin? Sorry, I didn't get your question. I'd like to hear your reflections on the process. Oh, I, I think it was good. Yeah, but I think the only problem is if you don't have a lot of time to go through the entire process. But if you had a lot of time, it is a really like it's really good, and I think I've learned some things on uh, ref, um, refining your questions and making them look better and stuff. Okay. I mean, I think one thing, even if you don't have a lot of time, I would encourage everyone before you go into a meeting, don't go in cold. Make sure you write down your questions. And that process of writing and formalizing them in your mind and writing them down, even just for yourself, it'll help you to make ask better questions next time. Okay. Um, Zella them, and then I think we're done. Okay. I just wanted uh, to say a point to what Bahiku raised. Uh, I also saw one question of his that is, I think is very important. It is a good question. But uh, I didn't get the chance to say develop because it was in the bottom section. And uh, during uh, reading the questions, I didn't have enough time. So I stopped it around the 50s question. That is why uh, I didn't choose it. But after improving the questions, I saw it. So maybe all of us start from the first. And we didn't have enough time. That's why. But I saw that a good question, and I think you should also ask it in the session coming. That's what I want to say. Okay, great. I'm gonna. I guess we should uh, stop recording and then start. Yeah, probably that's better.